Hello my dear students, welcome to the MS Science Academy. Myself Minu Shivastav and today we are going to discuss about the inhibitors of ETC. That ETC is the electron transport chain. Inhibitors are those compounds which inhibit the any complex of the which involved during the ETC or the electron transport chain. We have studied so many complex, we have studied around 5 complexes in the ETC, complex 1, complex 2, complex 3, complex 4 and complex 5. So, the inhibitors can interrupt or can uh, 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 interact with these any type, any one of these complexes. Okay, so there are, the, uh, there are generally four inhibitors which act on first inhibitor, inhibitors act on the complex 1, inhibitors act on the complex 2, inhibitors act on the complex 4 and inhibitors act on the complex 4, uh, third and 4. Okay, so now come to the definition of our inhibitors. Now here I have written I stands for inhibitor. Inhibitor bind to one of the component of ETC and block the transport of electrons. As we have seen in the ETC that in the electron transport chain the electron shuffling takes place. So the inhibitors can block the shuffling of electrons or the movement of electrons. Okay. This causes the accumulation of reduced component before the inhibitor, blockage step and oxidized component after the step. What is the mean to buy this step? This sentence. This now, if you know the definition of oxidation and reduction, what is the oxidation and reduction? The, the oxidation is the loss of electron and the reduction means the gain of electron. Here, the uh, in the sentence, this caused the accumulation of reduced component before the inhibitor. Suppose that, suppose that here inhibitor block this step. So, electron come up to here. So, this leads, uh, this leads the reduction. Okay. So, that's uh, in the sentence, this caused the accumulation of reduced component before the inhibitor. Suppose that the inhibitor work in this place or in this side. So, before the inhibitor, the component occur in the reduced form. And when in the next side, as the electron shuffling do not take place, so it present in the form of oxidation. So, like this we have just discussed here, this caused the accumulation of reduced component before the inhibitor. Before the inhibitor, blockage step, reduced component before the inhibitor, reduced component before the inhibitor and oxidized component after the inhibitor. Okay. So, now you came to know that why the inhibitors block and in which state reduce form and oxidized form where it will uh, do uh, it will do okay now some possible sites of the inhibitor in etc the inhibitor of complex one there are so many complexes and uh, there are the five complexes and uh, in the four complexes inhibitors we will study the complex one Inhibitor of complex 1 that is the rotenone, it is a fish poison, it is also known as the fish poison, barbiturate drug amytal and the piercidine A which is the antibiotic is also known as the inhibitor of complex 1. They act on the NADH and coenzyme Q. Now come to the inhibitor of complex 2, the inhibitor of complex 2 that is the TTFA, TTFA means Trienoyl trifluoroacetone, trienoyl trifluoroacetone, and second is the malonate, and second, third one is the carboxyl. TTFA is the iron chelating agent. Okay, now come to the inhibitor of component third. The inhibitor of component third act on the cytochrome B and cytochrome C1. The inhibitors are named as antimycin A. The example are. Antimycin A, it is the antibiotic, phenformin, 
and British anti leucide that is the BAR. Now come to the inhibitor of complex 4. The inhibitor of complex 4 act on the cytochrome oxidase, carbon monoxide, CO represent the carbon monoxide but if we will write the oxygen in the smallest or the uh, small form it represent the cobalt okay so for the carbon monoxide you have to write both in the capital okay some are getting confusion in this capital and uh, small uh, so that's why i have explained here it's a carbon monoxide and cyanide the symbol of cyanide that is the c and hydrogen sulfide the symbol is h2s and azide okay now the carbon monoxide react with reduced form of cytochrome reduced form of cytochrome reduced and oxidized form i have explained okay and cyanide and azide react with the oxidized form okay so these are some inhibitors which act on the complex one complex two complex three and complex four <coughs> now, now come to the cyanide poisoning there will be uh, uh, I have uh, seen in papers a uh, uh, short note about the cyanide poisoning that's why I have included the cyanide poisoning in the inhibitors topic cyanide poisoning is also comes under the topic of inhibitor so don't worry about it it's an extra topic it's not extra topic it's an inhibitor because the cyanide is the inhibitor of complex 4 and it act on the oxidized form cyanide poisoning Cyanide poisoning is the cyanide is the inhibitor of complex 4 and act on the oxidized form of cytochrome. Here it's a most potent inhibitor. As you have heard about that the militants, terrorists, and uh, militants and terrorists uh, are using such kind uh, of the cyanide uh, capsules because cyanide leads the sudden death. Okay, so how it works it bind to the fe plus 3 ferric form of cytochrome oxidase and it block the etc electron transport chain and leads the death the compound or component of the cyanide which leads the poisoning that is the hydrogen cyanide hcn and the kcn potassium cyanide hcn and kcn use for the cyanide poisoning or for preparation the cyanide capsule cyanide poisoning is represent here as cp cyanide poisoning cause the death due to the tissue asphyxia mostly in the central nervous system as i have told that the cyanide leads the sudden death cyanide leads the sudden death because of the tissue as asphyxia because in the central nervous system cells it leads the blockage of the electron transport chain and it leads a sudden death okay if suppose that if we are inhaling the cyanide if we are inhaling the cyanide it shows symptom and death within the few seconds like coma seizures cardiac arrest and death within the few seconds but if we are taking the cyanide in the lower dose it causes the headache weakness giddiness confusion and breathing difficulty also takes place so now come to the treatment part what is the treatment the treatment is that antidot kit if this antidot kit is having the nitrate compound it's amyl nitrate and sodium nitrate amyl nitrate and sodium nitrate this nitrate convert the hemoglobin hemoglobin into the methemoglobin when the cyanide react with the methemoglobin it produces the cyanomethemoglobin so cyanide release from the cytochrome oxidase because the cyanide re react with the methemoglobin and it will release the cytochrome oxidase okay now come to the second treatment part for cyanide treatment hydrocobalamin it is the form of vitamin b12 hydrocobalamin it's a form of vitamin B12. It converts the cyanide into the cyanocobalamin. Cyanocobalamin is the harmless where the cyanide is the very, very high much toxic. So, the cyanocobalamin, 
as the cyanide combined with the hydrocobalamin and form the cyanocobalamin so the cytochrome oxidase is free to react with the electron transport chain this is all for the inhibitors of electron transport chain so we have studied now we will summarize this lecture that the inhibitors are those compound which inhibit the electron shuffling in the electron transport chain inhibitors are of four types they act on complex 1 complex 2 complex 3 and complex 4 here the complex 4 there are inhibitors different inhibitors and the complex 4 inhibitors are cyanide carbon monoxide hydrogen sulfide and azide the cyanide is leads the cyanide poisoning there's a separate questions for the cyanide poisoning so that's why i have included this topic for the cyanide poisoning, it causes the sudden death. The compound is hydrogen cyanide and the potassium cyanide. And in the lower dose, it uh, causes the confusion, dizziness, headache. And in the higher dose, if we are inhaling, it leads the sudden death. Okay. And for the treatment part, antidote kit is having the amyl nitrate and the sodium nitrate. So the nitrate react with the hemoglobin and just convert into the methemoglobin so cyanide react with the methemoglobin instead of the cytochrome oxidase now the second treatment part that is the hydrocobalamin so cyanide react with the hydrocobalamin which is the form of the vitamin b12 and the hydrocobalamin reacting with the cyanide and form the cyanocobalamin which is the harmless product okay so like this we will just uh, uh, treat our cyanide poisoning but cyanide poisoning treatment is only possible in case of the lower dose if suppose it in the higher dose it will then no treatment can work okay so this is all for the inhibitors of the electron transport chain in the next video we will discuss about the uncouplers so that stay safe stay healthy and like share and subscribe thank you